Welcome back guys, it is GT Racing once again here at Sarko. Round number 4 takes us to Long Beach. We have a 40 minute race with a 10 minute qualifier. We managed to get 14 drivers into the qualifying this evening. Unfortunately we lose Dupi not being able to get his clashing issue with Theo. So Dupi here unfortunately is out this evening but Theo manages to get in and join the race. And before we get started, don't forget this series is proudly brought to you by Metal State and Thrustmaster. The lineup is that follows in the pole position is Morris, he goes fastest. Next to him is Theo in the Porsche, he's second on the grid. We move back to row number two and Christopher, he's in third place. Alongside him is Jacques Racing in fourth in the Ferrari. We move up to a row number three and Ashley, he goes fifth fastest in car number 34 and he's alongside Jakes for the Black Mambas in sixth. Moving next is Mal Jacques in seventh and he's alongside Steven, Steven starting off in eighth position. Ross in the Canary Yellow, a Ford GT, he's in ninth place alongside the Dylan who gets bumped up one position and that's because a Durki in 11th speeds in the pits and gets a one place penalty. Marshall, he's in 12th place, making up the last of the 6th row. Shane, he puts himself 13th and Ronaldo finally back with us racing. He finds himself picking up the last spot of the grid. Ronaldo did say this is definitely a tricky track to get back into the racing to. Let's go racing. As we wait for the green lights, that's a green light and we are racing. ashley has got a great start, but so too has Christopher. The guys further down the field are away cleanly. That's Christopher moving through to the inside, going between both Marius as well as Theo. And Christopher's gone from a third place. He finds himself first, going into turn number one. All the cars going through pretty safely, no contact as they come through the fountain section. Single file, oh, see a little uh, spin of the car in the background. You can see the guys were quite slow. We'll definitely want to go have a look and see what happened there. Having a quick look back yeah, at that sure. replay. We see a Ross coming in and just clipping the rear of the Ford GT of Jacques and Durki hitting that back of Ross. We'll uh, jump back from Jacques' point of view. You can see as that rear spins, it gets him up onto the curb. And the only way that he can go to get out of the way is forward. A little shunt there from Ronaldo on the back of Shane, but definitely not what was needed. And Jacques getting stuck and needing to find that reverse gear. Back to the front and Christopher, he's away. That is Steven starting to close up on the likes of Jakes in the black and green colors of that Corvette. Little scrape up against the wall, turn and number eight. Back to a race leader, Christopher, then Morris, a Theo, Ashley and a Jacques racing in a fifth place. Jakes is next in a sixth with Steven in seventh. Oh, big impact in the back there. Let's go have a look and see who it was. This is Ross once again. Dylan's completely outbraked himself. Going into turn number nine. Dylan hits the wall, bounces straight back. And unfortunately, Ross absolutely a no chance there. Sending Dylan up into the air. Back to Marshall. You can see Marshall, Durki and Shane. Getting around the carnage there, Dylan stuck in the middle of the track, but that unfortunately will force him to retire. Ross moving to the outside, trying to create some space, but he starts cutting back in front of Durki. Ross will go into the pits to get that damage on his car fixed, while Marshall, Durki and Shane cross the line. Race leader Christopher still being followed by Morris as they begin their second lap. Christopher starting to open up a gap. Theo. He's a little bit further behind Marius, coming through the uh, fountain section. There is a bit of a battle starting to build here between a Marshall and a Durki. Marshall in that blue Corvette with Durki in the white 4 GT with the blue stripes. Durki's line is a much better coming out of turn number 6 and through turn number 7. So Durki will be able to uh, get that place. And, and now Shane is starting to close up on the rear of Marshall. Heading it down the east side way, down towards turn number nine. 
where Dylan unfortunately got it very wrong. Put it into that outside wall there. You can still see some of the parts of Dylan still are lying on the ground there. Durki through the last corner. That Shane trying to go around the outside of Marshall but unable to get enough space there. Marshall will just close that gap and not allowing him to get past. So Jacques Racing starting to close that gap up on Theo. Theo currently sitting in the third place. Morris starting to pull a small gap ahead of Theo. But now Theo is going to have to start worrying about defending. That was very close. Oh, Jacques is up against the wall. That's definitely going to impact on his exit speed. Well, a jump on board with Shane as he starts coming into turn and number five. Just ahead of Shane is Marshall. Now through a West Shoreline Drive towards turn and number six. Shane taking a slightly tighter line than Marshall did. Now into turn and number eight on the brakes. Oh, there's something happening in the front there. A little brake check there between Marshall and Shane. Just look at the replay to see what happened. That is Stephen going into turn number eight, losing the rear. Ashley manages to get past him. We then see a Durki coming around the corner and a little sneak around the outside. And that's where that brake check came with Shane hitting him on the rear. And you can see the knock on effect of that is now a Stephen losing two places. That's Durki going around the outside. Shane very close to that wall going into turn number nine. Where the, rain was happy, then I got the first the place driver Christopher comes off. through turn number four. We'll take a look at the current positions. So Christopher leads with Morris in second. Jacques Racing, he's in third with Theo in fourth place in that Porsche. Jake's, he's in fifth with Marshall in sixth. Steven, he's in seventh place with Shane in eighth. Mal Jacques, he's down in ninth with Ronaldo up to tenth. Ashley is in eleventh with Durki in twelfth. Ross in thirteenth and Dylan unfortunately having to retire. But going past is a Mal Jacques, but we'll uh, jump to uh, Marshall, Stephen, and Shane as they're coming down towards turn uh, number nine. Towards turn and uh, number nine on the brakes. Stephen's through there uh, safely. Oh, Shane up breaking himself, just about keeping it off the wall. Back to the leaders. Christopher still ahead of Marius. And Theo starting to close that gap up on the red Ferrari of uh, Jacques Racing. We'll definitely need to keep our eyes on that. But what's really started to heat up is this battle between a Marshall, Stephen, Shane, and that is Mal Jacques in the background. He's starting to close up this gap between them, and I'm sure he's going to want to start getting a part of this. Shane has been able to uh, fix his line through turn number nine. Right. Through uh, turn 10, now hard on the brakes, turn number 11. Shane's right up behind Steven. St looks like Shane got a much better exit than Steven did. Coming down the uh, start finish line straight, Shane uh, moves to Steven's right hand side across the line. <laughs> Steven just starts squeezing him side by side through the main straight now into turn. And number one, Steven starts squeezing once again but leaving enough space for Shane on the outside. Shane has to unfortunately uh, just uh, slot back in behind him. Shane's got a great drive uh, coming out of turn number five. He'll move to the outside for Steven. Steven on the left. Little clip of the wall and not enough space. He has to let him go. So we catch up with the second place driver, Morris, as we look at the current positions. So Christopher's first with Morris in second. Uh, Jacques racing. He's currently in third place. So Jacques has lost the rear. Allowing to go Theo ahead. So Theo's in third place with Jacques racing. He's now in fourth. Jake's is fifth with Marshall in sixth, then Steven, Shane, Mal Jacques, Ronaldo, Durki, and Ross. And unfortunately, Ashley has to retire. So we chase Marshall currently in sixth place. Just behind him, that's Steven. In the background, there's Shane with Jacques starting to close the cable. Shane's gone sideways, he's lost the rear, he's spun it around. That means now that Mal Jacques, he'll move himself up into eighth and start closing that gap down on both Steven and Shane. Steven still trying to find a way around Marshall, uh, coming through turn number five, now towards turn and number six. Onto the brakes through uh, turn uh, six. Steven starting to uh, close up that gap. It looks like he might have a look to the inside. Not close enough uh, just yet. 
But Stevens clipped the inside wall. He's uh, lost the rear and that spun him around. Steven battling to get the car going once again. But as we'll see, there's a Shane just coming around the back, taking off his rear bumper. Not what Steven wanted. Next in line is that's Ronaldo managing to just keep the car under control without doing uh, too much damage to himself. I did say Ashley had retired, but he was still circulating. Ashley finding a gap away the, th the middle of the th two of them. Really great awareness there for Ashley. Christopher's up front and starting to open quite a, a sizable lead against the second place driver Marius. You can see Theo in the background and then Jacques racing. He's currently in fourth through turn number seven. Back to the left hand side, C side way. You can see this street sign there. Some bumpers still lying on the side of the track there. Marius and Theo very close to that outside wall. Down east side way. Now towards turn and number nine. Now into turn and number ten, and the rear's gone. Christopher spun it around. He'll, uh, Morris will get out the way. Theo will get out the way. That's two places. There goes a uh, Jacques racing. He'll now uh, go ahead of Christopher as well. That means Christopher now from first place, having a sizable lead, has now a uh, drop down. So the positions: Morris he now leads with Jacques racing in second. Then Theo. He's in third place with Christopher in fourth. Then it is Jakes, Marshall, Stephen, Shane, Maljak, Ronaldo, Durki, and Ashley, then Ross. So lap number 11 and Jacques is still trying to find a way around Marshall. These two have been battling at it now for the last two laps. Really exciting to see the battle still happening further down the field. Jacques has got a great drive coming out of the last corner, turn number 11. Now onto the main start finish straight. Cross the line to begin a lap and number 12. Jacques still hasn't been able to find himself a way around Marshall just yet. Now into turn number 1, both drivers going very wide. Little lock up there for Marshall. We'll just have a look backwards. You can see how close these two are coming through turns number 2 and 3. Now into turn number four. Marshall staying away from that curb. Very important there now through turn number five. The car wanting to start pulling away from you. Now they'll break hard into turn number six. Jacques looking for an opportunity but still not close enough. Now through turn number eight. Jacques very close to the wall. That's so close to the outside one as well. Down east, seaside way. We'll jump on board with Jacques. We can have a look to see what it's like coming through the last couple of corners. Jacques taking a very tight line there compared to Marshall. Now into turn 10. Then hard on the brakes. Get the car rotated. Done. Turn number 11. And see, unfortunately, Jacques missing out. Marshall just pulling away from him. Coming out of turn 11. Back to the front. It is very congested. Marius, Theo... Jacques racing, then that is Christopher. Jakes is still somewhere there behind the back, this four. Coming out of turn and number five, now going towards turn number six. That is definitely Theo getting a lot of pressure from the third place driver. Now into turn and number eight, there's Jakes, he's definitely closing up on this pack. Will uh, Jacques have a look to the inside? Going into turn number nine, he goes to the inside. He has uh, got the inside line. Will Theo allow him to stay there? Yes, he does. So uh, Jacques moves himself up, but just behind, uh, there is Christopher. That's uh, Christopher sneaking himself through as well. So unfortunately, Theo losing two. A quick look at the replay. You can see Christopher on the outside. He's now inside for 11. A great move. So the positions are on lap number 13. It is Marius, Jacques Racing, Christopher, Theo, Jakes, Marshall, Maljac, Shane, Ronaldo, Durki, Ross, Stephen, and Ashley and Dylan unfortunately retiring. And you can see this battle between Maljac and Marshall is still very much happening. Maljac just not being able to find a way around Marshall just yet. 
And as both drivers start closing up to Ross, I wonder if that's going to start adding another dynamic to this race. The battle up front still rages on, with this now becoming a five driver battle. Christopher starting to close the gap once again on the Jacques Racing. But it is Jake's in the fifth place. He's starting to really put that hammer down and he's now closing up that gap between yeah. himself and Theo. Now into turn and number eight. Single foul as they go. Christopher looking for a place to get himself around the Ferrari. Morris managing to hold down this charge from both his drivers. Now through turn number ten. Christopher right up behind the uh, Ferrari. A little uh, cut back there for Christopher. You can see that he tried to turn in but wasn't uh, quite able to get that move on. We'll just uh, jump back and have a look at Christopher now moving to the outside. He'll now be on the outside to try and get around the likes of Jacques racing into turn number one. Not enough space there. Now through the fountain sections, turns uh, two and three. You can see Theo and Jakes now uh, closing that gap between the three drivers up front. Out of uh, turn and number five. We'll get right up close and personal with the race leader, Marius. Out through turn and number six. And there's a Jock racing now moving to the outside, trying to make a challenge around the outside into turn number eight, but that's not going to work. So you'll have to slot back in behind Marius. Christopher right up behind Jacques racing now towards turn and number nine. Let's chase Christopher now hard on the brakes. And it was on lap number one in this corner where Dylan got it completely wrong. 100 meters, missed his marker and put himself into the tires. Christopher going a late entry back on the power. He gets the power down a lot sooner than Jacques racing. Sucking in behind him, getting that uh, downforce advantage. Christopher now on the inside. He's going to have the shortest line uh, going into turn number one. Christopher around the outside and uh, makes that move stick. He's back up to second place. Just wanted to check the battle between a Marshall and Mal Jacques having been able to get around Ross without incident. Marius leads with Christopher second, then Jacques racing. Theo, he's in fourth place with Jakes in fifth. You're watching a Marshall and a Mal Jacques in sixth and seventh. Shane, he's in eighth place with Ronaldo in eighth. Quicksilver, he's in tenth. Ross, he's in eleventh place and Stevens in twelfth. And it's right there that Marshall will lose the rear. That's going to allow Jacques to go past. So Jacques, he now moves himself up into 6th. Marshall down into 7th. Christopher's got a great drive coming out of turn number 8. Starting to make a move on Morris. He'll have a look to the inside now going into turn number 9. Morris is going to have to let him go. That's Christopher putting himself in a perfect position and being able to get himself right up in the front, moving himself into first place. And Morris now down into second. Jacques racing his in third with Theo in fourth place, followed closely by Jakes. They'll cross the line to begin a lap number 15. Remember, we are racing a 40 minute race. Down into turn and number one, they're going to go onto the brakes. You can see these are the top five drivers currently at the front of this pack. Well, that's Morris up against the wall. That's definitely going to cost him some time. Will Jacques be able to capitalize? Just a couple of corners later, and Jakes is starting to put some huge pressure here on Theo. Coming out of turn and number seven. Will Jakes go to the inside? No, he doesn't. Onto the brakes now into turn number eight. Jakes is very close to that wall. Finding that a slipstream advantage down east seaside way now onto the brakes into turn number nine nice and tight line for jakes or oh, theo's a little bit wide let's go see what happened there you can see theo just off the wrong line putting it up against the wall and allowing jakes to go past 
race leader Christopher comes out of turn number 11 and we take a look at the current positions. So Christopher leads with Morris in second, Jacques Racing is third with Jakes in fourth. Theo he's in fifth place with Mal Jacques in sixth and Marshall in seventh. Shane he's in eighth place with Durki in ninth. Ronaldo he's in tenth place, Ross eleventh and Stephen down in a twelfth position. Let's just uh, jump to uh, Morris just to see what's happening between himself. Well, that was uh, Jacques Racing having a look at the outside. Going into turn number two. Now through uh, turn four. Morris in all sorts of bother with the Jacques Racing really putting on a lot of pressure. And we can see that it's actually Jakes in the background who's also starting to close up. Morris goes very defensive into turn six. That's going to definitely help Jakes close this gap. Morris has to go defensive again into turn number eight. Down east, a seaside way. Morris moves to the inside for turn number nine. But Jacques racing, trying to find a way around him. He'll now look to the outside with Jakes following Jacques. Jacques racing cuts back into the inside. Jake sees him coming, so he'll unfortunately have to just slow down a bit. Through turn and number 11, beginning lap number 20, Christopher will start his 20th lap. Morris seems to have uh, got a much better exit than Jacques Racing. We'll jump on board with Jake's now up into turn and number 5. You see that rear of that Ferrari just kicking out. I'm sure these guys are starting to have some issues with their tires. And now into turn and number 6. And this little kink was so close to the wall there for Jake is actually turn number seven onto the brakes into turn eight. Morris is loose up against the wall. That's definitely going to help with Jacques racing. We're going to need to go trackside to watch them coming into turn number nine. Jacques racing and moves to the inside. He's now been able to get himself up into second place. That's Morris now down into third. There goes uh, Christopher. It is uh, Jake's now that we need to be watching. So race leader Christopher still uh, closing up on uh, Durki. Durki is uh, down in a ninth position about to be lapped. Christopher uh, through the last corner. There's uh, Jakes in second place with uh, Jacques racing. He's in third. You can see the, the flashing of the lights. But uh, Durki uh, going the same speed as the current pack. We'll take a look at the current positions. Christopher, he leads with Jake second, then Jacques racing. Morris, he's in fourth place with Theo in fifth. Marshall is back ahead of Mal Jacques. Mal Jacques in seventh place with Shane in eighth. Durki, he's in ninth place with Stephen in tenth. Ross in eleventh place and unfortunately Ronaldo having to retire. But uh, Christopher starting to uh, find some more pace, being able to close that gap now up on Durki. Durki will uh, move to the inside, allowing uh, Christopher to go past. So Christopher now clear of any back markers and is able to extend his lead. So Jake starting to close up on the back marker. Durki can see him giving him a little flash of lights just to let him know that he's there. Into turn number nine they're going to go. Durki on the brakes. He's going to take a... Beautiful line there, just touching that inside apex. Now through turn number 11. Durki gets a great drive coming out of that last corner, turn number 11. So Jakes is going to have to really put his head down and start closing down this gap. 
because he is now trying to get around a back marker but Durki is definitely going as fast as the guys in front further uh, down the lap now into turn and number six well Durki's a little bit too tight on the inside there or oh, so close to touching it Jakes will go around the outside that's now allowed Jacques to get right up behind Durki Durki will stay wide Jacques will tighten up his line and get past him a little flash of lights just to let him know that he's there next in the queue will be a Marius now into turn number nine they're gonna go Durki goes tight let's Morris go around the faster outside line there will a jump on board with Jake's coming do through the start finish line closing up on Christopher once again Jake's is set up really helping him and make these tires last only three laps to go Oh, Jakes has hit the inside curb. Uh, coming out of turn number three, just behind him, that is a Jacques Racing. He's going to be started, start putting on a lot of pressure with only uh, two laps to go. I'm sure Jacques will be relishing at this opportunity. Down towards turn uh, number six. Jakes fighting hard to keep uh, Jacques Racing at bay. We can see uh, Marius at the background. I'm sure he's also just looking for an opportunity if either Jacques or Jakes go off that will mean that Morris will finish up on the podium now into turn nine Jakes is very defensive making Jacques racing a work for this position now into turn number 10 very tight lines for both the drivers now through turn number 11 Jakes manages to get a great line and once again the unpredictability of the replay saving has plagued us once again we miss out the last two laps but the final positions are Christopher comes home in first place with Jakes in second Jacques Racing is in third with Marius in fourth Theo comes home in fifth Marshall manages to stay ahead of Mal Jacques in seventh Shane he finishes in eighth with Durki in ninth Stephen finishes tenth with Ross eleventh Ronaldo eventually having to retire, Ashley retiring and Dylan retiring as early as the first lap. So thank you very much guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give this video a like, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit that notification button. We'll be back next week Thursday at Watkins Glen and don't forget the replay highlights will be released over the weekend. So till then, keep racing and thanks for watching. Yo's.